When Scarlowe's turn came, he was glad to take out the coaches and meet old friends. Along the way, he met Rusty. You know, he said, if I couldn't see these familiar faces and places, I'd think I was on a different railway. You've done wonders with these rails. Rusty laughed. We hoped you would. Mr. Hugh, our foreman, said, Rusty, Scarlow is coming home. Let's mend the track so well that he won't know where he is. Scarlow, he liked this hard work on the diesel. There's still one bad bit, warned Rusty. Just before the first station, an engine might come off there, particularly Duncan. He will rock and roll along the line. Look at him right now. I shouldn't like his passengers, sir. What's that about me? I'm a plain engine. and believe in plain speaking. Speak up and stop whispering in corners. Rusty warned Duncan about the bad bit of line. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> grunted Duncan. I don't need smelly diesels to tell me what to do. Rusty felt hurt. Duncan banged about the yard. Then he clattered crossly to the station. James was already there, waiting for him. You're late, he snapped. I know, said Duncan. It's that smelly diesel's fault. He thinks he can teach me how to stay on the rails. And then goes off and leaves me to find my own coaches. You poor engine, sympathised James. I know all about diesels. One crept into our yard and ordered us about. I soon sent him packing. Duncan was filled with admiration. He didn't know that James was boastful and sometimes didn't tell the truth. Send him packing. Send him packing. He snorted Duncan. He climbed the hill furiously. Well done, boy. Keep it up, encouraged his driver. Soon they were near the first station. Duncan was pleased. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened, he chortled. Sunny rock, then he rolled along the line. Steady, boy, checked his driver. But it was too late. Sleepers and ballast. I'm off. Then he was. I warned him, said Rusty, but all he did was call me names. The little diesel refused to move. I'm ashamed of you, Rusty, said Scarlowe. Think of the passengers, what are they going to do? Oh, I'd forgotten them, yes, of course. We must help the passengers. And Rusty roared into life. Duncan stood, sad and solitary. He couldn't rock and roll now. Oh, dear, he thought. Everyone will know how silly I am. The passengers had to get out and help too. They weren't very pleased about that, but worked as hard as they could. They carefully levered Duncan back onto the line. After that, Duncan was extra careful all day. At last, evening came. Rusty, I'm sorry I was rude. That's all right, Duncan. I wish all diesels were like you. Let's be friends. Suits me, replied Rusty. We'll mend that bad bit of rail first thing tomorrow. <laughs>